What's going on folks, this is your boy VK and welcome to a brand new exciting Phenomenal Creations video tutorial and therefore welcome to the fourth episode in the Fusion 9 series. So this is the series where I teach you the, from the basics to the most advanced things inside Fusion so you can start creating awesome VFX, Hollywood VFX inside Fusion. So we are still kicking off some basics, today we're doing something that's a really big part of the VFX world, a necessity and an essentiality you can call it, and that's camera tracking. And in this software you can do many, many kinds of camera tracking, and today I want to show you the simplest probably from the bunch, just to guys give you uh, the, the startup and the hint how to create some cool camera tracking things inside of Fusion. So as I said, this is an um, like a necessary part for creating VFX, like anything you want to put into your movie and footage that matches your camera mode, you need to do some camera tracking. So if you don't know what camera tracking is, that's basically what it is. If you have some moving camera stuff, you move with your camera, you want to put a fireball in it or you want to put anything uh, VFX like in a moving scene, then you need some camera tracking so it looks realistic when you have stuff put on your footage. It's really logical and it's really simple to do, at least the things we're doing today. Alright, are you ready since I am and let's go crush this topic here. So like any of my tutorials, it always begins by putting some footage inside of Fusion so we can start creating stuff right away. Alright, so I have here a little bit of footage here. I have this water bottle scene. I can just drag and drop it to create my my startup loader node. And this is a small trick for you guys if you don't want to use a specific loader node, you can you can just drag and drop it from your file uh, file resource manager to also put it in the software. You can go force all tile pictures if we can see it. We can click the number one key and make it fit to the screen so we can see our stuff here or our footage, so to speak. Then what we would do next is we can go ahead and start trimming it down so it matches um, the, we just want to use the part we want so we don't want to use the whole clip just the part we want so we can do an efficient track. So I've, I've shown you how to do this in a previous video so you probably get hang of it but it's real simple just trimming it down in the timeline. And once you have your final clip, we can, when we scroll through, we have our footage we want to use. And this footage is also available for you guys to download and train on if you don't want to use your own footage. But this is a really simple clip just circulating around a water bottle um, onto a wall just to guys give you a little object to track. Alright, so the next thing to do when we have our loader node here is to add our tracker. So what we do is click shift space to find our select tool and find the tracker panel and we have different kind of trackers inside the, um, the fusion panel here we have a tracker which we're going to be using today but then we have a planar tracker and also um, a camera tracker sorry I gotta put this up again we have a camera tracker this is a real similar like in After Effects it's basically a, tra a tracker that gives you tracking data for three dimensional stuff so you can get a three dimensional tracks with cameras and all this so when you put some 3D objects this is a really cool stuff to use planar tracker is basically if you wanna track some planes like walls and floors really good for this and tracker is like a point tracker which we're going to use today when we track a specific point with high contrast to give you guys a two-dimensional point to track from. So we're going to use this since this is the most easiest of the bunch. Let's click enter on there and we find our tracker thumbnail appearing on our flowchart. After this what we do is simply we connect these two. We take the output box and drag it to the input of the tracker. What we can do is put the tracker on our left, menu, uh, left screen by hitting the number two on your keyboard. Then we go and click on fit so we can see the entire uh, entire frame here. Then we can see the tracker panel ha appears this green box which is our tracker number one. This we're going to go ahead and put to the point we want to track. And I want to track this end of this water bottle, the mouthpiece. If you want to change the target area which is basically where you search the track, the pattern, and this bigger square is where it searches for this pattern you have specified in this little tracking window. So by clicking on this little corner here, 
and using your arrow keys, you can make it bigger or smaller depending on the area you want to specify for your track. I'm going to use something like this. When you have put this, make sure you're on the first frame, then change this corresponding to that. And when you're ready to start tracking, you just hit the track forward button. And it will start tracking your your software here, not your software, your your clip here. And it will give a pop-up with a message of render completed and the time how long it took. Just click OK on this. And now when we scroll through, we can see that the point should be pretty well tracked to our footage here. It at least looks like it, so that's good. Alright, the next thing to do is to add an element or something to put on this track. And I have provided a small element for you to use, a marker element, which you can also download in the description down below. Which is just, when if I look, if we let's put it on here, we can see how it looks like. It's just a small animation. So it's a bit slow here. But a, a small uh, like element with some shape, basic shapes to show what's happening here. All right, so I want to put this onto our footage here. So how I'm going to do this is for the first, I'm going to take this output box, the red output box, and put it on the foreground of the tracker. So make sure it goes to the foreground of our tracker. I'm going to hold the Alt key and release, and then put it on foreground. Okay, so when we are looking at the footage now, we can still nothing has nothing has happened yet. We don't see anything on our clip here because we haven't put any kind of operation or told fusion so we can see our marker element on this footage here and how we do this if we go and click on the tracker let's go to the operation and click match move that operation means that this element we have put in the foreground will match the tracker movements we have tracked to so that's really handy so now when we look at the clip, it should be pretty well tracked or somewhere tracked in the scene. But as you can notice, the render is pretty slow. And that is because you have selected the tracker panel or the tracker node. And that means it's still rendering out the tracker information when you're doing it this way. If you select your normal clip and start rendering, it's a lot faster since then it's not focusing anymore on the tracking, tracking when it's doing the rendering. That's just a small tip for you. Now let's go ahead and position this somewhere else. I want to put this circle on top of our mouthpiece on this water bottle. So how I do this, since I can't directly transform or move our footage, I need to use a transform node. So shift space and find the transform node. And if I have the marker element selected, it will automatically apply it to this node. Awesome. So what we can do now is now I have the possibility to, to move this around and change the size. Like this. And now when we look at the clip, We can see it looks pretty well tracked. Now it starts the render process. It's, this is still an element on top of an element. It needs some time to render out. So when we look at the clip, after it's done its preview render, it's a lot smoother. All right, so we have reached the point where we have uh, successfully doing, done a track and applied our first element into the scene. That's really cool and all. But what if you want to put some more, like a text element or an image or something else in the scene? How do we do this? So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and create a text node. That's a normal text plus node here. Let's put it on our first window by hitting the number one key. And let's type in tracker or track. Let's go ahead and change the font to something more exciting like agency FB let's scale it up just a touch 
So now once I have my text layer, I want to apply this tracking data in the same manner like I did with the first marker element to get the tracking data. So I can put this on the foreground of the tracker so I can get the tracking data. So what I do is take the output box here and drag the node, hold the alt key and, and we can see that the foreground is used up. So if I click the foreground, that means I take the track position, yes, but then I lose uh, the marker element, which is a bummer since I want to use both of them. So how do I fix this? It's actually pretty simple. So what I do is this fusion is built up with nodes with uh, and we have the tracker node with the tracking data and we want the same tracking data again for the text node. So what that means is we have to go and duplicate this tracker node. And it's really simple. Just select the tracker node, hit control C for copy, and then control V to paste. And when you have the tracker node selected and pasted after the copying, it will automatically be connected. So what I do now is drag the text layer to the track the second tracker node and put it into the foreground. And look at the operations match move and put the text layer on the second viewer and the tracker on the second viewer also. And now when we look, we have our element here and we have our text also. That's great. So what we need to do now is to move our text to the appropriate, the, the right position here, like this. And when we look at the clip, we have a track text that's also in sync with this tracker element since it's using the same tracking data. So that's really handy. So if you want to put more elements to the same tracking data, you can just copy and paste this over and over again as many times as you want. So that's really cool. But what if you want to track to another point like this? Then you, all you do is to add another tracker and track from a new point and then apply the same methods like a text or an image to that new track by combining them one after another. So that's the really simple part. All right, so when, you when you're ready with your project, what you do is you find a saver node and save your project and start exporting it so we have a final production. But that, guys, is pretty much it for this video. A really quick and easy video showing you how to track with Fusion. It's really simple and really, really fun to do. And I'm gonna show you in, in the future more different kind of uh, camera tracking things and methods since there are the planar tracker and the camera tracker some more advanced stuff is coming up so definitely don't miss out on those and that means please guys like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i'll guys see you guys in the next video so stay peaceful stay awesome and i'll see you guys then peace